Whenever I bike after a rain, I am like keenly aware of seeing all the oil slicks on the street. And as we know, stormwater washes all of that um, into the system. And then if it's not able to go to the treatment plant, it goes right out to our waterways. And as more and more people come and live here, because it is a beautiful place, I think it becomes more and more important that we take steps to protect this great environment that we have. About two-thirds of the city is what we call a combined sewer system, and that means stormwater and sewage flow into the same pipe and uh, from there flow to the treatment plant for treatment. That's one of the great things about a combined sewer system. The bad thing is when there's a large storm event, there's not enough room for the sewage or the stormwater in the system, and so it spills out. The Ship Canal Water Quality Project is happening because the overflow points in the combined sewer system along the Ship Canal and the north side of Lake Union overflow more frequently than any other overflows elsewhere in the city. This tunnel is a long linear storage tank that will extend from Wallingford to Ballard. When it's a large rain event and uh, we're close to overflowing out into Lake Union or the Ship Canal, those overflows will spill down into the tunnel rather than spilling out into those water bodies. After the rainfall event is passed, the flows will be pumped back into the system and sent to the wastewater treatment plant in Magnolia. It's not open pit mining, it's not destroying houses, it's going underneath the city, it's doing it in a safe mode, it's putting it in there so it'll be there forever. I mean, we can't really go into this district that was built, you know, hundreds of years ago and separate the storm and the, and the sewer waters. It would just be astronomical in cost. Yet we have a facility over at West Point that can handle all of it if it gets it at the right rate. So all we're doing is controlling flow. This project helps plan for the future. And I, I just believe that more people ought to be concerned about what that's going to be. And we need to do everything we can to minimize the pollution. Ultimately, building a tunnel is uh, much less impactful to the community, both during construction and afterwards during operations. This tunnel will be quite a bit smaller than Bertha, about 14 feet in diameter. Bertha is larger than 50 feet. In fact, this tunnel is smaller in diameter than the tunnels that are being built for sound transit, light rail, throughout the city right now. The Ship Canal partnership that SPU and King County are working together on is a great example of agencies coming together to address regional pollution, especially looking at being efficient with our financial resources as well as the environmental impacts of these kinds of projects. So the waterfront, the Ship Canal, uh, the cut, it's all really important to all of these neighborhoods, whether it's bringing your kids down to the beach to play, or whether it's paddle boarding, kayaking, or um, taking your boat out through the Ballard Locks. You know, there's something that we all enjoy doing down here on the waterfront. We're in the very early planning phases of this project, but as we move into design and construction, we're going to be looking for every possible way that we can minimize the impacts of the construction and future operation of this facility. Community involvement is very important to us with this project. Uh, we want to get the community involved and we want to build a project that they can feel supportive of.